what are the ladies looking for? Okay, they're looking for work-life balance. They're looking for um, culture, proper relation with the, with the colleagues. Now, therefore, top of mind, the questions they will be asking for, and not even asking the panel, is asking themselves, is how does this need of mine get met in the answers I'm getting? So, salary will not be a big thing. Just speaking for men, is we're a bit just shameless about nego negotiating for salary. Yeah, you're not gonna give it to me? Like, yeah, let me give me two more weeks to think. Or, you give it to me now, I can sign the letter today. But I find lady, lady candidates want to say, yeah, let me go think about it, let me consult a little bit, uh, then come back. Or, okay, if you can't go higher than that, then... So it's not... My point is, it's not that the ladies will not negotiate hard for pay, but they will negotiate hard for what they're looking for, which is the culture, the stability, the work-life balance, and they'll get it. Yeah, if you interview and interview badly, the lady candidates are likely to decline at that point than male candidates. The male candidates will think, yeah, I'm gonna go through it anyway, like a man, whatever that like a man looks like. What is really important to her, just like John is saying, if, if money is not important to her and she gets the flexibility, the ability to rush back to her, her baby, uh, who's just newborn, then she's going to be happier. So you might throw money at her, but that's not what's going to make her happy. Even if you had an opportunity to slip her a paper on the side and say, ask for this money, and she's coming to an organization that has a bad culture, is she really going to be happy? Maybe not. It's interesting that the men have yeah. such a strong opinion on what women want. <laughs> I, I think we are in a very large level perpetrating the wage gap by not creating safe enough spaces for one, employees internally to expose what they are making, it's still so hush hush for a developer to just go on Glassdoor and say, you know what, entry level got 200,000. So it's so hush hush internally that even people, women internally don't know what their male counterparts are making to be able to level up. And then it's more of when you're bringing in female talent, are you creating a safe space enough for them to be able to negotiate upwards, right? So it's simple cues that I think we have also been trying to use like, hey, okay, this is the, this is the entry point, right? But you said, you really told us that you have five children. Would it make your life easier for us to up your insurance for your children to like 100K or would you like a salary increment and after what time? It's just those conversations that make people uncomfortable, but they're very necessary in making sure that you know, the candidate experience is top notch, whether they make it or not. So candidates know when we are pitching to them. Candidates know that there's a photo there that's a diversity play on the website where it's a woman like, you know. <laughs> they, they know, it's, it's, it's obvious that of course you're going to promote your internship process. Of course you're going to say that you have a 50-50% gender inclusion, but it's how do you show that inclusion and the role it plays in your culture. Money is still important for for women as women we still want money I want to be paid fairly you know what's important for us is equality and fairness um, women work hard women deserve to be paid well